All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to the first video of 2026. This is my new camera that I have purchased to help try to up the game of this YouTube channel and the content that I can provide to you guys. That being said, following up on this video, you are going to see differentiating quality of content in this video as I've tested this camera just to show you examples and things that I want your opinion on. So please leave them down in the description. But Look forward to hearing your guys' opinions in the comments, so please do comment and let me know what you would like to see, the opinions, the perspectives, and the shots that I'm gonna show in this video. So let's get on with that video right now. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe, and in this video, I wanna just talk about what's gonna happen in 2026. As you can see, I have some stuff in front of me. I have a new camera, SD cards, filament, new products that I wanna try and show on the channel and their usefulness. Essentially what I'm getting at is 2025 has been freaking awesome and I appreciate every single one of you guys. You know, we're dang near close to 10K or like two or 9,300-ish. I wish it would've been 10K in 2025, but we're gonna to have to save that for 2026. But one of the things as you grow a channel or a business or a community is once you learn things, you get better at things and the quality of videos a year ago aren't where I want them to be for 2026. So here's me letting you guys know that I'm investing my time and money into this channel to help bring free and higher quality content to you guys. So first of all, I want you guys to comment down below what videos you would like me to see. Going forward, there's a couple things I wanna do. I wanna create a higher quality series of building out your home lab with better audio, better camera equipment, you know, more thorough, more detailed, uh, more conclusive and easier to understand. I wanna create a series on mastering Proxmox. Let me know down below if you want that. I wanna create a series of how to set up Apache Cloud Stack start to finish. Uh, I wanna focus more on best practices of network security all the way through your home lab setup and environment. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting, please subscribe down below Join our community, join our Discord down below. If you want to donate, you can. We have a Patreon link down below as well. I try not to really push that because I want people who are invested and like my content and my team's content for what it is to feel that your money is valued if you are going to do so. But as you can see, I'm recording this on my phone right now, which is okay. Uh, it's not bad. The problem is getting the angle right. I am in a small space. You might be able to tell. Um, so having a camera with interchangeable lenses and angles and quality to help with lighting, uh, things like that, I think will really help bring this channel alive as we grow, which will allow us to move into bigger spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and kind of just show you guys what we got going on and hopefully you guys think the quality is good. You might say, oh, it's not that much better than your phone from an angle and a standstill like this. It's probably not, but when I'm doing overhead shots and I'm doing you know, product reviews or pictures, the depth of the phone just isn't there. It doesn't uh, meet the quality or it got, I have to get it too close to keep the quality there and then the phone's in my way where a camera with the zoom lens, I can have higher up out of my way and show you guys better products, better videos, and better tutorials. So I hope you guys will see that going into 2026. Now, let me get this camera set up and let me know what you guys think. Okay, and so now here's an example with an audio from a microphone that I'm wearing, as well as a overhead view off of the camera, and then using the YOLO Live S3 webcam as the headshot as we talk about a product. Let me know if you guys like this, or if you would like just to see the overhead and you don't really care to see my face. A lot of reviews I do feel just do overhead shots, and to me, I think they can get a little bland or a little bit boring, or you feel less connected, but you guys might just care to see the product and don't care to see my face. So let me know in the comments down below, but this is just an example of using the two to show off a product for the channel, as well as like I said, with my phone, I just can't get the quality that I want or like zoom in on something specific to show you and it still be in focus like this is. It's just the phone's too close and so then I can zoom out and still be able to show you guys this product. So this is kind of what I'm looking forward to up in the quality for 2026. Again, let me know what you guys think in the description. 
Okay, and then here's an example just using the camera with a capture card. So this is technically in 1080p. And then in a minute, I will show you directly off of the camera. And then this is just like, hey, here's this product. I would like to show it to you guys. Do like a shot like this more or just the overhead. You don't care to have me involved in the picture. Let me know in the description. That's fine too. But it is pretty nice to be able to, you know, have a product and be able to put it in front of you and the focus actually pull and do what it should do is just a lot better on this. So again, let me show you what it looks like just straight out of the camera. So you guys can leave your opinions down below in the comments. Okay, and then here's an example just using the camera with a capture card. So this is technically in 1080p. And then in a minute, I will show you directly off of the camera. And then this is just like, hey, here's this product. I would like to show it to you guys. Do like a shot like this more or just the overhead. You don't care to have me involved in the picture. Let me know in the description. That's fine too. But it is pretty nice to be able to, you know, have a product and be able to put it in front of you and the focus actually pull and do what it should do is just a lot better on this. So again, let me show you what it looks like just straight out of the camera. So you guys can leave your opinions down below in the comments. Now here's an example of an overhead shot. And this is what I really wanted to uh, look at and see what the focus looks like. Cause I just really hate the focus ability of that camera. So here's just an example. This is showing that it is a little bit overexposed in this manual mode. Here's with that overhead light off. Let me know down in the description what you guys think of that. But what's nice is, you know, like I do, sh it does shake the camera, but if I wanted to zoom in and show you guys something in a little, little more great detail, now we're gonna be able to do that. I can put this camera even higher, but it's much more out of my way, a little bit more of a smaller product. Lenses, if you have those, you can kind of compare. You know, there's a, there's a good amount of space here and the camera's completely out of my way and it looks like we are able to keep that focus, which is just awesome. Uh, I like this nice orange mat. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. You know, take another product, put it over here. Very interesting, but that's kind of the idea of an overhead shot that I've kind of been thinking about doing on the channel when it comes to reviewing more products so they're higher quality. Okay, and so now, what I wanna do is show you guys a combo of the two. Okay guys, I know that was a little bit of an abrupt ending, but essentially what I'm getting at is there's just more content coming, higher quality content, and content that is wrapped together in a better, more complete package. So I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you guys did leave your opinions down below in the comments. I appreciate every single one of you. And let's make 2026 an awesome year for anyone who's learning to build a home lab or wants to expand their home lab. Thank you for watching. My name is Abe, signing off with another video.